Hi everyone, welcome to Confidently Be You. My name is Jennifer Shlomovich and I'm a certified stress management coach. Each Wednesday I post new content and if you would like to be the first to know when a video is available, then I'd like to invite you to subscribe to this channel. So it's been a while since it's just been me chatting up here with you. Uh, I think the last time I did was in January sometime. Back in February, I decided to take a break from posting on my channel because I was really overwhelmed with like a lot of different things happening in my life between my day job and my coaching business. Uh, those of you who don't know, I do work uh, a, a day job in another industry. And then I have my coaching business, which is a part-time job for me. Um, but I also create a lot of content with that as well. So I see co uh, clients individually, as well as I do workshops from time to time and speaking engagements. And then I also create content on here as well on my channel. I also have been trying to dabble more with Instagram. I used to feel intimidated by it, <laughs> um, but I am working on uh, trying to be more active on there as well. Uh, right now, I've just been um, putting uh, my videos I, I share on there uh, with my followers when I have a new video up. And uh, if you do want to follow me on Instagram, I will also put the link in the notes below. So uh, yeah, getting back to uh, February, I, I had a lot going on. Things were really busy at work. I had a lot of things going on in my personal life and I just needed to take a pause where I actually didn't, I wasn't, I didn't stop doing any work for the channel. I was uh, doing interviews. Um, but I just wasn't editing and creating graphics and I didn't have that pressure of, oh, I got to get this video up uh, Wednesday morning. So I, I needed that break just to take some time to create, stock up some content. Uh, and it just gave me a chance to uh, breathe and pause. I also, in the month of February, did something I haven't done in a really long time, and that's just do something for fun for myself. It has been a really long time since I've just done something by myself for the fun of it. Um, whenever I'm watching TV shows, I'm either watching with my husband or my son because we each have like shows and things that we like to watch together. So since my TV viewing time is very limited as it is because I have all these other things that I'm doing. I don't usually just watch something for the fun of it. <laughs> um, and that's just for me, that is uh, once in a while I do. Um, and so and also when I have free time, I spend a lot of my free time doing family time. I do have some time that's just for me. That's usually some meditating, some reading. I do try to like get some exercise in there here and there. I, I did have a good routine going for a while that totally got derailed and I'm working on getting back into that, which I think will be probably a future post maybe on Instagram. Um, uh, my struggles with getting back on track with that. Um, but yeah, so getting back to the month of February, I decided to do something for the fun of it that I haven't done in a long time, and that's make a puzzle. So I took a corner of our table and I set up a puzzle. And almost daily, I would spend sometimes just 15 minutes working on it, 30 minutes working on it. Sometimes I would spend an hour just working on it, listening to music or a podcast. And it was really nice just having that puzzle waiting for me. And since it was there, it was like a nice little reminder of, oh, Jen, it's time to go visit with yourself and work on your puzzle. And there was no obligation to have, have it done by a certain time. It was just something I was doing for myself for fun. And that's really what I wanted to share. One of the things I really wanted to share on, on this video today is 
how important it is to do something for the fun of it just for you and the you know we i think we it's very easy to think that you know we always have to have a reason to do something especially when we have so many things going on we feel like our time has to be productive in some way but actually having time for fun for yourself is actually also productive because it helped it helps eliminate stress it helps reduce stress it really helped me do that it helped me reconnect with my thoughts uh, i also gain creative ideas through all of that and by taking those little daily pauses to work on my puzzle at different intervals of time when i had time depending on the day it really helped me feel more productive and so i did finish the puzzle around uh yeah, it was like the first week of March, I think I had finished it and I framed it. And so hang on one second. I'm going to go grab it and show it to you. Oops, you can see my reflection in here. Ta-da! I'll take a, a better picture of this too. Um, but yeah, this was the puzzle that I did and I have it on a frame and now I'm just... Uh, Gonna do some reorganizing in my bedroom and i'm planning on putting that up on the wall soon so yeah that's that's a major thing for me is trying to get back into fun um and so i started doing some reading again for fun this month and may, perhaps this is going to be like a new routine for myself or maybe each month i pick something fun that's just for me so yeah that's something that i that's a new routine for myself is doing something monthly for the fun of it that's just for me and i'd like to invite you all to try the same if you feel that you would like to have some time for yourself or you feel like you don't get a chance to do something fun for yourself or there's something you'd like to try maybe a cooking class or learn a new hobby or there's a book or even a puzzle just take that time for yourself and do something fun for you guilt-free fun and let me know in the comments below if you do pick something that you're going to do for yourself and and have fun and let me know how that is for you i think that it's so important to have a monthly fun activity that's just for yourself perhaps we'll call it the fun challenge uh so yeah there we go we are going to call it a monthly fun challenge so i am going to share periodically about the fun things that i choose to do for myself and I'd like to hear from you about what fun things you decide to do for yourself. And yeah, so that's pretty much what I have to share have to share right now um, is picking something fun for you, guilt free. And I will am looking forward to sharing with you next week. I'm in the process of doing some more interviews so i'm really excited i have some great ones coming up and if you haven't seen the previous interviews i've done on here i recommend checking them out uh so thanks for joining me and have a great week and i'll see you next time take care bye for now <laughs>